Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Behind the Wheel. My name is James Reese, community developer on The Crew 2 here at Ubisoft Ivory Tower. There are a lot of exciting things going on at the studio, and for some time now, the dev team has been wanting to give you a glimpse of what's going on behind the scenes. We just announced our new release date, June 29th, and what better opportunity than this first episode to show you how we put these extra months to good use. We'll be having a chat with Studio MD Ahmed Boukhalifa in just a moment, but first, we've got a quick message from creative director Stéphane Bire about an initiative very close to the team's heart. Hello everybody, this is Fergus. I'm so happy to have this opportunity to speak to you all. And I can't wait to do so more often. In our December announcement about the Crew 2 release date, we mentioned that we were very excited to use the extra time to work more with our amazing community. We have now been doing this for a few months already. In private phases, we call technical tests. We have run four of them to date. During this technical test, we give access to work in progress version of the game to small groups of active the crew players under NDA. The aim is to test all aspects of the game from gameplay to connectivity and balance. To achieve this, each individual test has set objectives. Regular input from players is crucial to us as a dev team. It gives us a fresh and expert perspective straight from those we are making the game for. Some testers have already spent hundreds of hours in work-in-progress game versions. The feedback we've had has been very positive and very useful. We are super grateful to all participants for their valued input and to all future testers for their time and assistance. Of course, we will be running a public beta before launch as well. We want as many of you as possible to get your hands on the game. Be sure to sign up for it on our website. Thank you all for your continued passion and support. We will see you on the road. Focus there with some information on the technical tests. And we've now got the opportunity for a chat with uh, the studio's managing director, Ahmed Boukhalifa. Ahmed, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. So we've just heard from Fergus about how we're working online with our players to make the best player experience possible. Uh, but you've also been laying the groundwork in the actual studio uh, for some exciting developments as well. Yeah, it's true. The studios are super important for us because they allow us to uh, uh, get players very early into the game and to get their feedback and to make sure that we fine tune the experience uh, as much as we can. Uh, but uh, we also wanted to be able to do it in-house, in, in the very heart of the studio where we do the development. And that's why in our new facility here in Lyon, uh, we uh, did build a dedicated space, which we called our Playtest Lab, uh, in which we've been uh, able to welcome players on a monthly basis for over a year now. And this was something we weren't able to do in the old building? Uh, definitely not, because in the old building we tried to push the walls all over the place to accommodate for, for all the team, but that was all we could fit. So we had to go outside to do all those playtests. We still do playtests outside because it allows us to test the game, not only in France, but also in the UK, in, in North America, and, and other uh, countries in Europe and Asia. Uh, but definitely now we're super happy to be able to do it uh, on a regular basis in our Lyon offices. Yeah, our studio admin director, Emmanuel Walid, has really gone above and beyond to give us a fantastic space to work with here. And um, what's exciting is that with a bigger space comes bigger teams as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in order to deliver The Crew 2, our most ambitious game to date, uh, we more than doubled the size of the studio and uh, it's only the beginning. Absolutely. It's definitely an exciting time to be part of The Crew 2 family. Thank you again for joining us, Emin. Thank you very much. That's it for this first episode of Behind the Wheel. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below, as well as any suggestions you might have. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Next time, we'll be taking a look at one of our playtests in action, so be sure to subscribe to our channel to see it drop. We'll catch up with you then.